love watching sports, I love basketball, and I grew up dancing as well. So I figured, you know, what better way than to merge the two worlds and to work on my craft every day while, you know, rooting on a great team. Why the uh, LA Clippers spirit? The Clippers! Come on, uh, uh, they're great. Yeah, uh, I've always liked the Clippers, uh, as, long as, uh, as well as the Lakers, excuse me. Um, but yeah, both organizations have a great dance team, so I figure, hey, Clippers. What about the spirit that you really that impresses you? I just feel like the, the Clippers, you know, not only as a team, but with the dancers as well, they have such a, a vibe with them that you just you want to be a part of it, you know? And the dancers, you know, they come out and they, you know, entertain the entire crowd. And I figured, I want to be a part of that. It looks so entertaining. So, yeah. How long have you been dancing? My whole life. Okay. <laughs> My mom owned a studio growing up. So I grew up dancing that way and then been doing it ever since, almost 19 years. So, hip hop, jazz, a little bit, a little bit of everything. Yeah, I'm actually trained in almost everything, but my specialty areas, if you want to call it, uh, are definitely jazz, jazz, funk, and hip hop. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, what did you learn? Is it more technical to try out for a sports team, uh, dancing? I think each one varies. Uh, the Clippers are def definitely very technical. They do want clean cut, uh, trained dancers. So, yeah, I do think that they are a technical team. What do you think the challenges are going to be for you today? Um. I'm not really sure to be honest. I think just remembering to be myself, you know, not not trying to be anybody else, not trying to show them what I think they want to see, but just being Savannah and um, not comparing myself. I tend to get in here and look at all the other beautiful girls and think, oh, I'm not going to make it, but just be Savannah and if it's going to be, it'll be. Yeah. <laughs> now, you went out last week for the, uh, the rival, the Lakers. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> so so what, what did you learn from that experience? Um, I think what I just said, not to compare myself, you know, I went in the Lakers room and uh, in the audition room the Lakers and I really compared myself. I saw all these beautiful, talented girls and I was like, well, I'm definitely not going to make it. And I did it. And I think that's why. So today is a different a different day. Um, so yeah. You have more confidence today? Of course. Most definitely. <laughs> so, so you didn't ha uh, hang your head down at all? No, now? no. I want to take it not so personal because it's never, it's never about us really. It's more just so what they're looking for. It's never like, oh, you can't dance. You're not pretty enough. It's not about that. It's just what they're looking for that day. So if it's meant to be, like I said, it'll happen. So what kind of feedback did you get back uh, from your mom? From my mom? Yeah. Oh, goodness. Well, my mom growing up was never one to sugarcoat anything. She told me exactly how she felt, uh, which is great. I enjoyed that. Um, she kind of just told me, she knows I get in my head a little bit, and she was just like, you know what? Be Savannah. Do what you know to do. Go out there and kill it like you always do, and it'll happen. And if not, on to the next. What do you do now? Uh, where are you dance at now? I dance kind of all over. I just graduated college, and now I'm kind of training all over at different studios in the area of Los Angeles. Uh, so yeah. What school did you graduate from? Uh, AMDA, the American Music and Dramatic Academy in uh, Los Angeles and Hollywood. I graduated as a dance major. Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, this past year. <laughs> well, good luck for you, too. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>